Hey, it's Seth here from Red Eye Garage. Uh, I've been super busy in the shop lately, doing a lot of welding today, and I'm gonna test out yet another welder. I've been, uh, had the pleasure of trying out a lot of different machines lately, and we're gonna see how this Yes Welder 200 amp multi-process machine stacks up against the competition. This one specifically is the DP200, so it's a 200 amp. It does MIG, TIG, and STIC. Um, and I got some accessories with it so we can, uh, over my next couple projects, test out all the different functions. So it's 200 amp um, multi-voltage, which means you can do it on 110 or 220. I pretty much weld exclusively on 220 here in the shop um, for my needs. But it's a pretty cool machine. It looks like it's um, got all the basics, uh, big digital display. Um, I'm also testing out the Yes Welder. Um, panoramic view auto darkening hood. I've actually been cheating. I've been using this all week and so far it's the my favorite helmet I've tried lately um, for plasma cutting and for grinding. It has a um, different setting versus welding. So a comfortable band and it's just a good overall helmet. So everything I'm using today I'll put product links in the description. Um, but let's pop open the machine and see what it looks like. Uh, I'll show you some of the accessories I got. So this is the Yes Welder um, Pro Bundle, they call it. So it comes with a few few bonus features. So you got your gas hose. It comes with a float meter. So this is a little more accurate. Um, specifically, we'll probably put this on when I do some TIG welding. It's a little better for TIG. Um, the bundle also comes with a foot pedal. So, well, they call it a lift arc TIG. Um, it does come with a foot control as well. And it looks um, like a pretty nice well-built pedal. Um, I've been using my Eastwood TIG and it has the small pedal with the arch over it. And I've found that's hard to get some of my, I got big feet. It's hard to get my boot toe in there. Um, so I'm excited to try this. It feels a little, little heavy on the spring, but we'll see how that goes. It's like Christmas around here. And then in the other box, uh, this looks like the TIG, TIG torch and accessory bag. Um, Ziploc bag, so you could store it back in here if you don't use it. Uh, it has standard like cam lock connectors, so it looks like our gas line. And I think it's a number, yeah, number 17 torch. It comes with a pretty basic consumable kit, some uh, ceramic cups, a couple different uh, tungsten covers the little guy and a longer one and some collets um no tungsten though so you will have to get that on your own but that's pretty standard so um we'll put this aside and when we start tig welding we'll pop that out and put it all together along with the pedal and the regulator um, it is a glass tube with a little ball in it um, and i'll show you more of that later for today i'm most concerned with the mig function so you can see on the cart here i have my eastwood 180 so this is a little smaller machine um, I want to see how the 200 does. Um, I just ran out of wire, so I thought instead of putting a new spool in here, it'd be a great time to unbox the Yes Welder and see how it does. All right. I opened the top, but I didn't take it out yet. Well, this looks like our box of uh, cables and the actual MIG lead and some packaging. Ooh, it's got a cool paint job. So that's always exciting. You want your tools to look cool too, right? I would describe it as medium weight. It's not, yeah, it's about the same weight as the Eastwood, but it's a little bit bigger. This reminds me of my Hobart case. It really looks like a Hobart. So it has the, the main cord is 220. And then it has probably in that box is the 110 adapter. So cool paint job. Let's see what it looks like under the door. Pretty standard. Looks good. This accepts the two pound and 10 pound spools. And got the drive inside there. Looks good. Oh, look at that. Welcome metal artist. Schnazzy. On the front, um, that's one thing that differs between this and the other welders I've used is a seven inch LCD screen and got all the plugs for the, the leads and the ground and everything. So this uh, looks pretty good. So I'll get this all set up 
everything unboxed and we'll get it hooked up and try it out. There's the stick lead for stick welding. Ground cable. Nice heavy cable. Smaller clamp. There's the voltage adapter. Got a bag full of different size drive wheels and two different um, things of wire. Let's see, we got a 30 and probably 23. Nope, two 30s. One's flux core and one is solid. So um, I don't really do flux core welding around here, so I'll save that for emergency. Here's the MIG torch, nice and heavy, like heavy built, feels pretty good. It says yes welder on the side, it's a little different. Oh, it's got the flex ball on the handle for a little better movement. Nice and heavy, definitely a robust plug. And I do like it comes with a spare liner because at one point or another, you're gonna kink it or step on it or drive over it or something. And then a little baggie with uh, four tips and a little multi-tool for changing tips. So pretty complete uh, package. Let's get it hooked up. Got it all set up in the cart. Let's fire it up and see what the settings look like. So it has a normal breaker style switch on the back. I'm running on 220, like I said earlier. Okay, got some fans running. Hopefully you can still hear me. Okay, that's a lot fancier than what I normally use. Um, nice, big, easy to read screen. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, this so the knobs. Uh, this is your wire speed, wire feed speed. Voltage over here. Looks like we have some settings on the top, so let's go through them. Okay, so stainless, aluminum, or yeah, let's see. And then it looks like you just push it in. You can adjust what type of gas you're using. Fancy. Wire size. So, very cool. So we're running 30 wire. Metal thickness. I was wondering how we set up the voltage and stuff because it's just so different than what I normally use. Okay, so you can set the thickness of your metal right here. The job I'm doing right now is pretty hot. Um, let's start at 3 16 and see how that goes. Then it has a standard uh, uh, 2T, 4T spot. I don't know what S4T is, but uh, the 2T, I think that's when you pull the trigger just like normal, let it go, it stops, so we'll keep it there. Then it has a memory setting, so I'm guessing... Okay, so you can save your settings, that's pretty cool. Alright, so... Let's see. I'm assuming that setting that it chose was based on my metal thickness setting. Yep, so it adjusts. A lot of these new welders, you don't really have to monkey with them a whole lot. So I'm just going to set it there and we'll do a test piece before I actually do the work and we'll see how it, see how it does. So today, probably still hot. I've been working on these. Um, you can see I got a little assembly line going. Uh, these are the welds with the other machine I was using. So I'm making, these are little polar adapters. So I have a bunch of them to make for the company that I work for. So we're kind of uh, just burning through. We're, it's gonna test the duty cycle. I know it's not a huge job, um, but I'm welding pretty high amperage. I'm doing it on a rotary table, so there's really no stopping. So I'm doing a, a, a constant weld all the way around these parts, loading up another one and continuing on. Since I don't know how this machine is gonna do, I'm just gonna weld a piece of scrap. This is another test weld and uh, see how the settings feel before, I don't wanna mess up. I have limited numbers of pieces to assemble this. So we'll uh, just throw a bead on here and, and just go from there. Uh, we're also gonna be testing out the S Welder graphic panoramic uh, auto darkening hood as we work through this all right i'm welding uh mixed gas and 30 thousandths wire and just going with the machine's settings 
I'm a little heavy. This isn't, well, it's, it's close to 3 16 so I think I got two thicknesses there. So I like a welder that's foolproof, and you can just hook it up and go. Um, that seems like a lot of wire, but we'll see. Not too bad. Seemed like a little, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it was a little bit fast on the wire speed for me, but that could be because I have it set up for a, a little heavier material. Let me bump it down. Two eighth inch, I'll flip this piece around and we'll, we'll do another bead and see how it goes. Same thing, other side. I'm set for eighth inch material now. Much better. So I had a lot more control and less, less of a bulge on the weld. Um, I'll do one across the back, same setting. See how that goes. I will say very light trigger feel, which is really different from the machine I was using. Um, I think I'll like it, but I, on these stiff gloves, it triggers really easy. For, so for fatigue, it'll probably be good, but I just gotta get used to it. Definitely throwing plenty of heat. I think I'd turn it down even more for that. Um, but yeah, so I think, I think it's pretty good. We'll get set up. Um, I'm using the rotary table for this job. So I'm not um, just mocking up like a fake piece of metal to just show you this welder quick. I'm gonna just dive right in and hope I don't ruin any parts. Um, just getting used to the machine. So let's do it. So far, I'd say I'm digging it, keeping everything uh, coated with some anti-splatter. Um, just getting a little used to the start. It has a little bit of a jumpy start um, from when the wire comes out to when the voltage kicks in, and it may move your part a little bit more than the other machine I'm using. Um, so keeping your wire short is going to help with that. Um, but once I get rolling, it's laying down some nice welds. So I'm going to do one more and then I'll show you the final results. So here's one of the completed pieces using the Yes welder. Now this weld will look a little different than if you're just doing it by hand because I'm using the rotary table. So I have, um, I just tacked it on both sides and then I ran one continuous bead all the way around. And like I said, I'm not a welder, but for what these are used for, this is a, a very strong weld. So um, as you can see, it was glowing. I had good, good heat. I could even see glowing on the inside. So um, right out of the box, I'd say the, the factory settings are really good. This is a little tricky because this is like eighth inch and this is like at least five or probably five sixteenths. So two different thicknesses, not ideal, um, but the auto settings on the machine did a great job. Here's a whole stack. I did um, a few of these with the new welder and I mean, it, it hangs right up there with the machine I have preferred and been using, so uh, pretty pleased with those results, especially um, just right out of the box, no magic, no editing here. I just pulled it out. You saw me mess with the settings, and this is the result. So there you have it. There's the Yes Weld. Uh, there you have it. There's the Yes Welder Dual Pulse MIG Multi-Process Machine. Um, pretty cool machine for the price. Um, good components everything feels good went together good it had everything i needed right in the box and we got welding successfully in about 12 minutes and also this hood has been really great so for the price of this hood and this machine um, you can do some top-notch work on a budget so if you're like me where you're doing stuff that's not really a little beyond the hobby element because this is a little expensive for just someone who might weld one thing a year um, but I can't afford, you know, a full-blown Miller multi-process machine. So this is right in there uh, with the rest of them. Um, so we'll see how it does over time. The duty cycle on this seemed to be really good. I did a bunch of welding there. My other, uh, my old machine would have tripped off a couple times in that amount of time welding that hot. So 
Um, I'm going to keep using it and I'll keep you posted. Check out the links in the description for all the info about ordering this and cost and discounts, things like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get back to work and uh, keep cranking stuff out. I got some really exciting new videos for you coming up really soon. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.